Let's start with a simple problem. You need to convert an image like this into a CAD drawing like this to create or modify your models and develop the necessary shapes without changing applications like this. You also want to see the updates as the conversion settings change and avoid manual tracing as much as possible. If you need to modify 3D prints, designs, or reverse engineer from an image, set up engraving profiles, CNC inlay patterns, or any of the thousands of other uses for SVG files, check this out. I created this Fusion 360 add-in, which lets me make these conversions without switching between apps. Even better, I can now adjust the settings and see a preview that lets me make adjustments, get the results I'm looking for, and reduce a lot of extra work. Something that Inkscape or the online apps don't do. It'll save me a lot of time, and I hope it'll do the same for you. I plan to make several improvements, but for now, if you're on Windows, I still need to test this on Mac, and you want to try this out, I share this and many other projects with my Patreon members for only $1 a month. This is a small piece of a more extensive project I'm working on, so there'll be more updates. But for now, I find this extremely useful and I wanted to get it out to you as soon as possible. The installation process is pretty simple, and I've included a link to the Fusion 360 documentation in the description below if you need clarification on my methods. First, download the file from my Patreon page and unzip it. I like to copy the folder that's inside the zip folder, which makes this move quick and easy. From the Utility tab, select Add-ins, and from the Scripts and Add-ins menu, choose the Add-ins tab. Select the plus sign next to My Add-ins in the File dialog. Right-click and paste in the new add-in, and then choose Select Folder. Select the add-in from the list and run it. I've used a few Python libraries, so three command windows will pop up to automatically check for and install them. After installing the add-in, you can access it by going to the Create drop-down in the Solid tab. Select an image file and adjust the settings to achieve the desired results. Be cautious when changing the despeckle and despeckle tightness settings, as extreme adjustments can significantly affect the processing time and potentially lock up your application. Make small changes, and once you're satisfied with the results, select OK to complete the process. From these traced bitmaps, it's easy to set up engraving or trace milling operations, or extrude the shapes into or from any of the faces of your model you want to modify. If you want to add that little extra to your project, this might be exactly what you need. I made this engraving for a custom merch coaster from my scrap lumber pile in no time. Keeping the work inside Fusion makes the workflow nice, and if the engraving doesn't come out the way you expect, you can always jump back into the design environment and make a few changes, as I did, to make the face in this image look a little bit better. I went through my scrap bin and found some stock. I thickness sanded it to dimension and cut out these quickly. After a very quick finish sanding, I applied a mixture of beeswax and coconut oil, and they were done.
So let's get this merchandise up on the website. And while we're at it, add a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Squareface. I'm just kidding, I don't do sponsored videos. I prefer to create something distinctive, not just cookie cutter template. In a way, that would make our sponsor today, Anaconda and PythonAnywhere.com. Python can automate everyday tasks, improve efficiency and productivity, create apps that you need or that are not available or affordable, and can be extremely rewarding. I've made a lot of interesting apps, including my new website, where you can find the link to pick up one or two of this very limited run of coasters. <laughs> and most importantly, they're not a sponsor. They make a great product and it's pretty cheap, if not free, and I think you should check them out. While I'm on the topic of a sponsorship, remember to check out Lean Canteen on Facebook and Instagram, which are linked in the description. If you ask me, this method won't break the bank, can add a nice pay bump to your gig income, and allows for customized small runs of unique items for special events or to make personalized gifts. After all, who doesn't like giving away stuff like this? I plan to explore more ideas like this, so consider liking and subscribing if that's your thing. If you already have, drop me a message below and let me know what your thoughts are. These turned out great and they were a fantastic use of some of my shop scrap and free time. Let me know what you're making and if this works for you. I enjoy hearing about your great projects and when I can, providing a little bit of insight. Until next time, thanks for watching.